What I'd like to show you today from my Briggs and Stratton 5 horsepower engine is a starter. The starter here is mounted on the front of the engine and one of the most important pieces of it is the starter clutch. How the clutch works is that when I pull the rope uh, it'll, it'll grab a hold and spin the engine but then when the rope rewinds it spins back in place so it's a ratcheting action. It'll turn one way but not the other. And I'm going to open this up now and show you how that works. You get yourself a small chisel and a small hammer. And let's see if I can do this on the first try. What we're going to do is separate these two pieces. Just tap gently. There you go. Now that we've got it apart, you can see inside are six ball bearings. This part here, it will slide off of here very easily. Now for the sake of the video, I've already opened this up and I've cleaned it out. But what you want to do is get in there with a the rag. I use a little carburetor cleaner and sprayed it out and wiped it out with a rag. You don't want to have any kind of lubricant or anything in there. Um, so what you're going to do when you put this back together set that in there, take each of the balls and put it in one of the six slots in this part here. Now hopefully you can see this. What happens is the balls will allow the this part to spin that way but when you spin it the other way the balls lock it in place and it won't spin. Whoop do that again. Put that in place. Again, it won't it will lock that way, but release that way. I'm going to take this piece here, slide it back on top there. Get your hammer and gently tap it together. Got it back together, and again, turns that way, but grabs a hold that way. Alright, there you go, one starter clutch for Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower engine.